Hey everybody, James here, and uh, first off, Happy New Year to everyone. And um, you know, one thing that I wanted to do this year is really kind of get out of my comfort zone. And one thing I'm going to start doing is providing value through what I'm going to be calling my uh, marketing motivational series. So I'm going to be coming on here live. My goal is to be doing this every night around 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm going to come out, share things, hopefully give you some value, and um, see if you get some stuff out of it. So this is episode number one. I just got off um, my monthly uh, mastermind group where we talked a lot about what we're trying to do in 2017. And a lot of people had value out of it and they shared a lot of great things. And it was it's a really cool experience. And just to give you a little story about me, um, where I'm coming from, how I started online. I started approximately eight years ago and I started out of need, out of necessity. <coughs> um, at the time, my my wife was pregnant with our first child, and I needed to make some more money. And this is literally how my online career started. Um, what I did was I said, okay, how am I going to make some money? And the first thing I did was I took um, all my stuff that was in my house, and I put it on Craigslist. And so, excuse me, the first thing I did was I put it on a yard sale. And when I put it on a yard sale, I sold some stuff, didn't make that much money. Then I took the rest of my junk, and I took that junk to um, like a Salvation Army. It's not called Salvation Army, but it was like that. And so when I took my stuff to the this, like a Salvation Army, I forget what it's called, Goodwill Thrift or something like that, I just literally took my stuff to the back, <coughs> and I just dumped it off, okay? Here's my stuff, and that's it. And then my wife and I um, literally just walked to the front of this store, if you will, and said, well, let's just kind of check it out. We just jumped, dumped off a bunch of stuff here for free. Let's see what, um, let's see what this, what's in here. So we walked in. As I walk into the door, literally as I walk into the door, I see someone walking through the facility with, with an item that I brought in. It was a suitcase. So again, I dropped all my stuff at the back of the door, okay, I go to the front of the door, park my car, and there's somebody walking. They had already put a price on it. There was somebody walking with my suitcase and about to buy it, okay? So it was like a light bulb went off. And I was like, okay, the reason why I didn't sell this stuff was because they didn't know about my yard sale. They didn't know where it was at. They, they knew about this store, okay? The store was in a better place to sell my stuff. So I said, okay, hmm, how could I... What could I have done differently? So what I did was I decided to sell stuff on Craigslist. Now, if you if you remember back in the day, eight years ago on Craigslist, it was it was a much different environment. Craigslist is still big, but it was a lot it was a lot bigger back then. So I went on so I went on Craigslist, and um, I started selling stuff. Right, started selling stuff out of my house. Then I started going around and buying things from yard sales and selling them, and started making kind of a little business out of it. Well, then from there, what I did was I, I made a little information product on it. I said, hey, maybe there's some people that will buy what I'm, what I'm doing here. Maybe they'd like to know what I'm doing, right? So I made a little PDF about 10 pages long on how to make money on Craigslist. And I put it out there on a, on a site called, uh, I can't even remember what it's called now, but it was by, by Mike Phil Same. It was... Pay.com, I think it was called. Pay.com. And I put it on there and I sold this 10-page PDF for like $50. And I started making sales with it. And I was like, and Chris Coyette, are you there? That's pretty cool. Chris Coyette, appreciate you. Chris one of my good friends, one of my best friends ever. So it's cool to see you on this episode watching me. And so, um, you know, I, I sold this information product. Then I, then I went on to um, YouTube and I started talking about things to do on Craigslist. Remember this eight years ago. YouTube wasn't as big as it is now. But So then um, I get this email one day and it's to like my junk mail. My wife's like, you need to, you need to check out this email. It's kind of weird. Somebody's talking about maybe they could put you on television. And I said, man, this is spam. This is like, you know, this isn't real. But I checked it anyway. And so I find out it's by this guy named... Dean Graziosi and 
I didn't know who Dean Graziosi was, but he's he's been on television for like every day for maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. Anyway, I ended up making an infomercial out of it. And then that was it. Like I was hooked on marketing ever, ever since then. So my point is this, is that out of need, out of necessity, I went from selling junk out of my house to then making a business out of it, then making an information product, then making an infomercial out of just going into a store and seeing somebody buying my suitcase. That's literally how it went. And now, I mean, I've made over seven figures online. I mean, I've, you know, I'm known, I'm the top vendor on Warrior Plus. There's a lot that I've accomplished. But, you know, one thing that I want to do now is not, of course, I'm going to continue to make products, but I'm going to get out there, tell people my story, tell people what I think about marketing, how you can do things online, and hopefully that brings value to people. If you like what I'm doing, you know, click that you want to subscribe to this because my goal right now, at least, is to do these talks um, for at least the next month and then reevaluate how everything goes. And so tonight I also want to, I'm going to put in the description um, a good friend of mine, Jeremy Kennedy. He had a product that came out and it's all about product creation. I happen to be on the sales page. He mentions me how he got, you know, a lot of initially a lot of value out of th things that I talked to him about. And now I, I consider him a really good friend and a partner in a lot of what we do. So, so check that out. Um, so this is my first episode. Hopefully you liked it and then I'll be back for more. So talk to you later.